When modeling a building in Revit, some situations will come up where you need to provide a shaft or a floor opening to either one floor or multiple floors. First thing we're going to look at is creating a shaft. From the Architecture tab, under Opening Panel, we'll select Shaft. The first thing we need to do here is draw the boundary line. To do this, I'm going to pick a rectangle, and I'll draw the rectangle within the space. The second thing I want to do is use a symbolic line to show that this is an open space. By selecting symbolic line, I can then now use another drawing method, the line method, to create an X through the opening to show that this is an open space. Once that is finished, then I can go ahead and I can adjust the base offset and the top constraint to set the extents of my shaft opening. I'll finish the edit mode, and then we can take a look at it in section. Here you can see the shaft opening cut through the floor on level two, but it did not go all the way through the roof. If I were to manually extend that, you can see it will create an opening in the roof as well. Now to create an opening through just one level, what we can do is we can use opening and use the vertical opening option. And this will allow me to only create an opening in the selected object. So I'm using this point here as a reference to select the floor in level two. But ultimately what I'll do is draw a boundary around the stair. The one limit to these openings is that they have to be within the boundary of the floor or the stair, and that they're only going to go ahead and cut through the object that was selected, unlike the shaft, which will cut any object that it passes through. Now we can see the stair below. If I wanted to refine it further, I could select the boundary using pick lines. and adjust the boundary. Looking at it in section, you can see now that the floor has been cut. 